<sighs> All right, everybody. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Hello. We'll wait for everyone to get on the call. In the meantime, we'll show you what we're up to over here. We've got some uh, news this week, so we're going to cover the news first. Then we're going to get into some of the things that we've been up to in our personal lives over the last few days here in Hawaii. Oh, magical. We're feeling the Hawaiian energy we're, right now. We're feeling the magic. It's <laughs> on. All right. We're getting a few folks on. Great to have you all. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, we're going to get in. We're going to dig in on health, beauty, and longevity. And we're going to talk about some things that are kind of, you know, a little, little racy and controversial, like <laughs> that organic food is better. Uh, homegrown food is better than that shocking oh, truth yes. be told you know and, uh, and we're going to show you this you know of course we've got to show you the homegrown look at that homegrown right there boom sour sauce is just so yummy looking is that check the out, best ever check out the noni there's the noni look at this guy boom noni man tells mm -hmm. you to listen we're broadcasting out of studio 38 here in hawaii so welcome everybody we'll let a few more folks get on i'm going to see if we got some questions as a war veteran can you please share with what helps calm your shen? Yes, you bet. Absolutely. Leo Delgado has joined. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Diane, Alex Jones, Ra uh, Randy, it looks like. And, okay, we got a few folks. Yep. Shout so there's a few shout outs. Let us know you're out there. And then uh, we'll start digging in here in a few moments. We do have a new product out. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get into that, which is my new enzymes. I haven't designed an enzyme in 15 years, at least 15 years, oh, maybe yay. longer. I remember I was, this is my memories of, of this. This is a new enzyme product right there. Longevity enzymes available at davidwolf.com, W-O-L-F-E.com. Mm. I love the Quan Yin on the label. It to me, it's like, let's soothe and nourish the digestion, right? Where the everything begins is yes. right here. Yes, everything begins. It all begins in digestion. <sighs> oh. This is a major locus of action. I mean, just look at, you know, look around our civilization. Every corner is a restaurant, a deli, it's food. So mm -hmm. this area right here is communicating to us at all times. And if it's communicating in a way like saying, hey, get your act together, we're going to get into that a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I take enzymes not just necessarily for digestion. And these, mm -hmm. these enzymes, my new ones, aren't necessarily designed just for digestion. They're great really? for digestion. But they're also designed to be taken in between meals mm -hmm. to in decrease inflammation. Mm -hmm. but, you know, These are like little Pac-Men that are going around chewing, chewing, chewing. And they eat up all the undigested Protein, for example, undigested fatty uh, material, fatty acids. You know, I was looking at a statistic in one of these books back here. Look at this library we got back here. We got back there. All kinds of books on enzymes back here. And uh, one of these books, geez, where is it? It's back in there. It Listen to this statistic. When it, God, this is it's full on hot. <laughs> it's we are sweating. Woo, I'm gonna I, turn that that fan on. I actually higher. just came from the beach. I literally just got off the beach probably 20 minutes ago, and I like ran up this hill up a mountain to get here. So I am, I'm sweating. I was like, I Woo. can't be late for day, for Avo's live. He's gonna be like, I'm like texting from the car. I'm like, I'm on this mountain, but I'll be there soon. Yes, <sighs> we've got some great beaches over here in Hawaii. Please get to Hawaii sometime in your life. You mm -hmm. will be. Very glad that you did. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I wanted to mention this thing about enzymes. Enzymes are like little Pac-Man, and they're essentially helping us digest our food, helping us digest and clean up metabolic waste products just from normal metabolism. And so this was an interesting statistic by Dr. Howell in one of these books. And the statistic was this. When, a, when you take a young baby six months old, they have 35 times more enzymes in their saliva than a 65-year-old. Wow. 35 wow. times more. Think about that. Now, my position on aging, the biggest issue about aging is we're a series of tubes and pipes, right? We're a series of filters. And when those tubes, pipes, and filters get clogged up with debris, undigested protein, metabolic waste products, mm -hmm. cellular debris that never gets properly broken down or lysed then what happens is it builds up in us mm -hmm. and then we get clogged up. Now, if we get clogged up in our heart, that's a heart attack. If we get clog clogged up in our brain, that's a brain attack called a stroke. Mm -hmm. And if we get clogged up in our kidneys, we're going to end up with kidney problems. If we get cl clogged up in our lungs, we'll end up with lung problems. You know, it's just wherever the, the genetic weakness is mm -hmm. or the exposure is and what's happening with all the pollution and waste products and the toxic food is just speeding that whole process up. Mm -hmm. um, but it's yeah. a natural process and we, we have to at some level understand that 
one day our, our time up on earth will be done. It's all temporary, which is all the more reason to love it right now and enjoy what you have. I mean, yes. my mom at 82 would just give anything to be 50 or 60. And so I love to think in terms of like really enjoying the aging process and really enjoying where we are now. Where we are right now and where we are right now. We're in Hawaii. Thanks everybody for joining us. Yay. Here we go. Look at this. Hi, Look everyone. at the fruits of our labor. Coconut, soursop, check out this avocado, look at that, boom. They're falling off the trees right now. They, I heard one come down earlier today, actually. Um, that's leucoma, or egg fruit. Some of you know this from the superfoods world. Leucoma, or egg fruit, non-glycemic sweetener, it's really fantastic. Noni, noni man the stinky tells you fruit to listen. That keeps you healthy. We've got, we've got actually one nutmeg tree here that just kicks it out that's it nutmeg is. mace see that red stuff right there that's the mace it looks like nutmeg. a heart david Isn't it nice? just looks like a heart muscle it's so cool it really you know when this thing splits open if you guys pay attention to my instagram by the way you can find sitara at sitara hewitt on instagram sitara hewitt s-i-t-a-r-a-h-e-w-i-t-t -T. Excellent. And I'm David Avocado Wolf, and welcome to the show. Um, we are on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Telegram is my favorite. Click the links below. Actually, go through the process of figuring out how to download Telegram on your phone. Get Telegram on your phone and join us there because that's un. Filter. Communicating one-on-one -on -one with avocado yes. over here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and if you want to, too, if you want to go all the way, every video that I've ever had, the ones that were deleted off YouTube especially, those are all available in my inner circle. So if you join my inner circle, $97 a month, you get everything, the full deep dive. Plus, you get to join all of our cleanses and everything that we do for free is just part of what you get. And we are doing our next cleanse on September 20th. So I'm going to grab Satara and we're going to do that cleanse together. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never done one of your cleanses. And when you were telling me about the experience some of your other friends were having, I just realized I need to do this. Let's I talk about some of these experiences that some yeah. of our friends were having. Um, you, you may be aware of our product, Remove Unwanted Guests. Yeah. I think, let's see. Yeah, we just put up the link for in the inner circle there. Oh, good. We got Sitar. We got your Instagram link up up there, too. Hey, and um, our I'll Remove Unwanted Guest product, which is, that's basically the Hanna Kruger formula, the parasite killer formula. So mm -hmm. I've been tracking people in a group on my phone. And ever since we've been doing the detox back in April is when we started. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this person on our list has had hundreds Oh of gosh. unwanted guests come out over the last three weeks. I.e. worms and parasites, guys, coming out. Not me, but it might could be me later. <laughs> but I hope it's not going to be that bad. You, who knows what's in who, there? You're right. Who knows? Because up until that point, always felt relatively normal, had sugar cravings, had cravings for other things, of course. And um, what I'm here to, to present to you, and that's one of the underlying themes of all our shows, is that it's those little critters that are controlling our behavior. And in order to profound. regain sovereignty and get back to normal, mm -hmm. we've got to, yes, this will be recorded. Um, we've got to get those critters out. One of the things that breaks down those biofilms and one of the most important pieces of the anti-aging puzzle so that we get to, I'm going to be 49 in a few days. Yay. And so that I don't have like aches and pains and all, you know, screwed up joints and all this other kind of stuff, because all my friends who are athletes, they all had screwed up joints. Every one of them has really catastrophic injuries. Mm -hmm. I have injuries too, but they're not inhibiting my way of life. Mm -hmm. And one of the keys over the years has been enzymes. That's been one of my favorite tools. Mm -hmm. And, you know, over the years, because every now and then when someone gets really in trouble, mm -hmm. I'd recommend 30 or 40 or 50 enzymes a day. Wow. Yeah. For when something has a like a serious diagnosis. Like no, no. Well, for an injury, yes. If you broke a bone and you had an inflammatory response, yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, when I broke my foot, I took 30 enzymes a day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speed up healing. Um, but the thing that was interesting is, is in this particular case, I don't want to exactly say what the condition was, but it's a deadly condition. And uh, this person was taking 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 enzymes a day wow. and completely recovered along with another part. You know, there's more to the protocol than that. Um, but that's the kind of dosage that it takes when you're in that kind of situation. Wow. So just wanted to put that out and there. And it's got to be quality of enzymes too, because I know personally I've tried a whole bunch at the health food store just to keep my digestion really moving and not have like gas or indigestion. And some of them don't do anything. And then others, I'm like, oh. 
crushing it with these. So, so new longevity Quality. enzymes are out. Boom. Let's just show everybody what we've got. That's the new product right there. Very excited about that. And the, the actual cover, you know, this, this little design right here, it was kind of in my mind what I wanted there. And it was a Quan had a this Chinese herbal formula that I think I picked up in Korea way back when, like probably 2011 or something in Seoul. And it was a woman who looked like Quan Yin who was beating her son. It was like, she was like 90 and he was like 65 in this particular thing. And, um, oh but she God. looked younger than him and was beating him for not taking care of himself. And so I thought I dug that, that image out actually. And uh, it wasn't quite the right image for this. We ended up settling on that image instead. But <laughs> it gives cheating. you it gives you the right idea. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty funny. All right, we are going to answer questions. Let's see what we've got. Made it with eighty eight herb gray stuff. Probably this stuff too. Let's see. You really need digestive enzymes. It depends. Well, it's I this know. is the thing. See, this is what people do. We really need whatever. Do you really need, let's say, food color pigments? No. You can live without them. You're not going to be healthier, but you can live without them. You can live on burgers. Do you really need vegetables? Well, you can live without vegetables. Doesn't really mean you're going to be healthier, good right? Point. You can live with um, the human being can survive on cardboard, mm -hmm. right? Do, do you really need other stuff? Well, you know, I have a, I don't even want to get into it on YouTube. Well, it's, I mean, it's, you, it's what you get into my a little closer and I'll show you some stories of people who've lived on things you wouldn't even believe. And over long periods of time, years of time, Hard, it's very incredulous to a new audience, so we'll leave that mm -hmm. for something else. I All find right. that, you know, to what you're saying is that, I mean, I came here, I have a limited time on earth, like we were saying, and I want to feel the best I can possibly feel every day. So That's I can right. be present for my son and have fun with him, feel good in my body, you know, have a have something positive to give to the world. And if my stomach is off, you know how you feel if your stomach or your body's off. You can't provide that, so. Like a vacation. Um, like, imagine coming all the way to Hawaii, like. Satara did. And you get here and you feel, like, oh my God, I ate the wrong thing. And yeah. it's three days of toxic. Backed up. Backed up. And it goes on every day. Every day on this island, that's happening. And that's the thing. It's like, do you want to live that way or do you want to find out how to feel good every day? We're here to find out how to feel good every day. And the very so first awesome. thing, very first thing is raw and living foods, enzyme rich food, natural food, food that came from nature without. Mm -hmm. Packaging. Ah, oh, this has been the most profound realization coming to stay with you and eating all this homegrown food. And guys, I'm a health food junkie. I'm over. I live in LA. I'm at Erewhon every day. I'm buying the health food and the non-GMO and the, you know, farm fresh stuff, but it's processed. You know, it's processed little snippy snacks. And I love like nut milk creamer, macadamia nut milk creamer, but that stuff's got guar gum and all this stuff and it's in a package. So being here, I gave up the packaged foods and I've been eating just stuff off the land or the farmer's market that basically this is its package, right? It's skin. And I look younger being here. I need less sleep. I'm sleeping like six, seven hours a night and I'm one of those an hour night people. Are you really? I need nine hours a night. Oh, Maybe wow. I need the cleanse. Yeah, well, I can tell you for sure that if you cleanse your body, you have less, bo less your body has to work less mm -hmm. to digest and clean your metabolism. So you have more energy and you'll, you'll actually get away with less sleep. That's Most people happen. are sleeping due to eating. Oh. Sleeping and eating are connected. And I'm sleeping so much less here because I'm eating the non-packaged foods. And like I'm addicted to packaged snacks, super healthy ones from the health food store, but still just taking that next level and eating that's a beautiful vanilla bean. I just had changing my health. I just saw that. I'll have to like, that out. I'm, I'm almost 38. I think I look really good. You're looking great. Thanks. Do, do you agree? Let's vote. Let's have see you in the comments here. How's Sitara looking right now? After, I think she's looking the best ever. Um, after eating all this stuff off the trees. One of the things we've been consuming in our tea has been our vanilla beans from here. Look at that vanilla right there. Uh, you can't find that, folks. That's the homegrown right there. Next year, I'm going to put about 1,500 of these up on the internet, and they will go at $10 each, which is... You're paying $20 for sure for this quality anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like that's really gouging people. 20 bucks for a bean. I was like, let's do 10. That's worth it. I mean, look how long. Look at this. It's, look at this. And the biodynamic This is a papaya. Look how long that, that thing is. It's longer than a banana. It's like a forearm. 
And they smell so good. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the first lesson was raw and living foods, making sure you have a salad with every meal, simplifying your meals, getting away from packaging as much as possible. And that means adding into your into your diet, your lifestyle, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, seaweeds, sprouts, mm -hmm. superfoods, and herbs, mm -hmm. a, a wide variety of herbs. That's a really key thing. Okay. Let's see. Oh, somebody said you're looking great. I, You Thank got the Hawaii you. glow going. Thank you. We're probably glowing uh, a little bit because it's just so hot in Hawaii sweating. right now. We're under, it's, you know, it gets sweating. like in Florida with that. Super intense humidity. We're it's, getting that right we're now. We're detoxing right it's, now. It's, it's a sauna. Thank okay. You. Anyway, so it's yeah, the vanilla here, just everything, especially in this area where we are, we call that a hooey, by the way. Your neighborhood's called your hooey. Hmm. So in our little hooey over here, we've got some epic stuff happening. Yeah. And when you get to Hawaii, you get to try that. Okay. And there's no pesticides even in this whole area. This Is whole that region. Correct? Yeah. This whole region, not even in the area. That's what you're getting. There's no, yeah, these like big farm spraying. None of that's going on around here. And uh, it's really wonderful because we live with the wild pigs. So real quick, another big, but very, very big piece of being healthy. Number one is raw and living foods, superfoods. Make sure you add those things. We just talked about fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, seaweeds, grasses, sprouts. Herbs. Um, what herbs. about oils like coconut oil and olive oil? Coconut oil, oil like olive those? oil. I love those. Um, and it's a good way if you want to like thin down your calories and you know if you eat an avocado there's some calories if you eat nuts obviously more calories if you eat cheese obviously even more calories so if you still want to get some oils in your diet like coconut oil or olive oil without that much calories as would be present in cheese or say i don't know the, the fat of steak then a good way to go is with a coconut oil and olive oil not that those are complete but they can Kind of skate you by for a while on low calories and, and it's they, nice. Yeah, uh, they satiate the hunger. I find if I'm eating really clean, I'm still kind of hungry and craving, but the oils just satiate, turn off the hunger real fast. Nice, well said. Thanks. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next piece, which is this is she's going <laughs> to light up on this one. You guys ready for this? Is connection to nature. That's a very important part of health, beauty, and longevity. If we're living in a situation where we're divorced from nature, we're separated from nature. Not only is it likely that we're going to end up with more toxic conditions, leading to more disease conditions, leading to an early departure from the earth, but we're also not enjoying the moment. We're not really having as much juice as we can get from our life. And that closeness to nature leads you to a deeper investigation of plants and animals. Mm -hmm. And so Sitara has been loving the wild pigs. The piggies are everywhere here. You just are driving in your car and one's just like running alongside your vehicle. <laughs> like we saw a mama pig give birth to a baby pig in a field. Just we just happened to look over. She's giving birth, flops down and nurses it. They're just so sweet. Is that the best ever? They just raise your vibration. They're so cute. They're, and they were they're running all over the neighborhood over here. This guy over here in the corner has been feeding the pigs, which is not the smartest idea, I have to say, but they just love animals so much they just like doing it. And those pigs were having babies, and they just got to see that baby being born. So connection to nature, I, what I wanted to say is that that measured hour every day in nature. Now, maybe you're in New York City. Okay, that's a measured hour in the park. Maybe you're in London, measured hour in the park. Maybe you're on, on the coast of, I don't know, Brighton in the UK. Boom, you got to get on the beach, right? you got to get time on the beach with nature and get that download, get that connection. A lot of times I think we've been led to meditation mm -hmm. and you're a meditation teacher. Mm -hmm. Help yeah. tell me about that. I'm a meditation coach. So I try to make meditation fun and accessible and easy and not this just like thing for, you know, gurus. But one of the things I find is that getting into nature naturally activates that mindfulness. It gets you outside of yourself and into something greater. And that's really a component of meditation. I think a lot of meditation, to, to correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of reasons why people want to meditate is they've got this big storm going on up here yeah. of all these thoughts and emotional turmoil, and they're trying to calm down this monkey mind. Is that true? Very true, yeah. Let me tell you something. You go jump in the ocean. You go jump into a lake. You jump into a cold body of water. You will clean up that monkey mind right away yeah. and clear everything out. It's one of the best ways to meditate. When I was in uh, Cancun, so I just, I'm just in from Mexico. Yes, you are. And we had a great time down there. And I ran into a friend of mine, Igor, down there, who runs a kombucha company. Really nice guy, wonderful guy. Mm -hmm. And we ended up at his house just on in our drive. Um, we met him at a festival, the Tulum Veg Vegetarian Festival. And then afterwards, we visited him in his town where he lives. 
and he had an ice bath ready to go for us. Mm. So we got to, it's really hot. I mean, you think it's hot here. We're talking about the jungles in South of Mexico, very hot. And we got into his ice bath and it cooled me off for an entire day. Wow. That was so good. And that's principle number that's three, good. which is as you age, the inflammatory process gets worse and worse and you got to fight inflammation. And the best way to fight inflammation is cold. Where it's summertime, cold showers. Yeah. Get into cold showers. You should not be taking a hot shower in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Right? What do cold, you think about cold? A cold body of water. You know, so often we'll think like, oh, I live in California. The ocean's always cold. I go in it every chance I get because it's basically like free cryotherapy in the winter. It's cryotherapy. Like people are paying 30 bucks to go in that booth. I'm like, it's February. I'll be in the ocean. You know. Nice. It feels, it well feels said. great. And like you said, it pulls all the inflammation right out. If you have a sore neck, it'll just fix it. It's really cool. That's something else too is like these aches and pains, soreness, all this kind of stuff. As soon as you get into cold water, boom, it pulls that inflammation right out. And what we like to say, and I'm going to give you my little secret on this. And okay. thanks for tuning in, by the way. Thanks for being with us. We've got quite a few folks joining us from all over the world. Somebody lives from Santa Monica. Look at that. Hey, you. Yay. Um, one of the things that I like to get into, you know, every time I'm doing this hot cold is the hot, cold, cold. So let's say you're doing a sauna into cold, 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 not why? one cold. But why is Because this? it actually really gets into you. Okay. Right. Meaning that like if you come out of a sauna and you go into a cold ocean uh -huh. or a cold lake or a cold pool, okay. Or a cold shower. You're like, Oh, okay. I, I can handle this. And you turn around and you go back into the sauna. Mm -hmm. However, if you come out of that sauna hot and then you do a cold, mm -hmm. then you come out of the cold, then you go back into the cold, then things really start happening. It gets happening. deeper in the body. It gets saying. deeper. Yeah. And it really de-inflames you. So, for example, the other day in Mexico, I had to go the long distance in that pool because I got to make, I'm in it now. I'm in that cold ice bath. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I'm already in here. I got, I'm going to get the full value of this because it's, you know, I've been battling the heat it's full on. By the way, I'm David Avocado Wolf. This is Satara Hewitt. And you can like, click, subscribe, join the page. Uh, I don't know how long we'll have a page here on YouTube. They, they're banning videos and pages these days. Um, but you can Never. find me always on Telegram. Uh -huh. That's the best place. So click the link down below, get that link clicked, and uh, join me on Telegram. Or you can join me on Instagram, David Avocado Wolf on Instagram, and Satara Hewitt on Instagram. And you can find us there. And we're always having the best day ever. So if always. you want to find out how you can get the vibes up, yes. join the party. It's um, all about getting the vibes up and expanded. That's it, fam. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Here's vibes up. Let's show them what we got again. So we're talking about, of course, getting some of this into your diet. This is papaya. Get those enzymes into your diet. I mentioned at the very beginning of the show, when you are born, you have 35 times, 35 times more enzymes than when you're 65 in your saliva. Mm -hmm. Think about what that means. It means the stuff's not getting broken down, so you get big chunks getting into your system. And those big chunks start irritating your system, causing autoimmune, causing irritation, causing clog, right? Clogging up your filters. Next thing you know, you have a problem with that organ early at age 50 or age 45 or age 55, something like that. Anyway, we get these in there. These naturally clean us out, right? The papaya enzymes, look, coconut. This is what a coconut actually looks like. Oh, my gosh. I grew up with Gilligan's Island. How about you? Yeah. Yes. They were brown. I, yes. I thought it was a brown, hairy. I saw Mr. Brown. Mr. Howell with his brown, hairy coconut being given to him by Lovey. And I thought that's what a coconut was. This is a coconut right here. This is what it actually looks like. It just came a young off coconut. the tree off the front porch here. And that we grew that tree right there from a seed, by the way, from one of these. Because this is a giant seed. And one of these days, I'm going to do a show with you guys on... The sprouted coconuts, which inside here, when this sprouts, it foams up on the inside. You ever had that? No. Oh, oh we're Is gonna it do like that tonight. Or something? No, it's like cotton candy. Oh. Yeah. The, I mean, you ever wonder because the coconut water is inside that nut, right? So that's where the water is sloshing around. So if yeah. I shake this thing around, yeah, there's water in there. And when that sprouts, and this is gonna grow because this is a seed, that inner chamber fills up with foam. And that foam is super enzyme rich, by the awesome. way. And 
right at the right in this part right here. Let me show you guys this. This is the part where it will sprout. That's where the the, the actual leaves will come out. Oh, cool. Right around there, if you when you hack this thing open while it's sprouting, there'll be oils all around here, and that's the real coconut oil. You never had that. Oh my god! I just realized you never had. That. I gotta have that. Whoa, I love okay. coconuts. So that's much. something else. I for years I thought this because that's the real coconut oil, the sprouted coconut oil. These are the things you learn actually doing it. And this is what, why I recommend start a garden, start mm -hmm. fermenting things, start growing sprouts, start doing something that's connected to growth. Because as soon as you get into that, you start finding out all this stuff. Yep. And it just tastes so good. It's so different. It's so I remember fun. David gave me something else that's very unique, chocolate juice once out of a cacao pot. That was, you just, you think you've been on earth and you know everything and then you just start learning all this cool stuff. We had a cool cocktail just a few minutes ago. Obviously I call it a cocktail, but it was soursop, noni, lemon, and draw honey from the land. Oh my God, let's show them the honey. Oh my God. Okay, so the some honey. of you know my noni land honey. Anybody, can't, let's see if anybody knows my noni land honey. I love it. Um, so my somebody said you could pass it. for Marianne from Gilligan's Island. That's the best yes, ever. Yes. Thank you. You got folks all the way from Ireland. Um, really nice. Iowa, Saskatoon. Okay. So I some of you there. know my Noni Land honey. You want to? This is this is real jungle honey. What it's supposed to look like. This is the legit stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. That's wow. Honey. It That's tastes the real deal. So good. How good is that? I'm gonna hold it and show. Yeah. You show. Can see, yeah. You kind of see the combs in there, guys. And it's dark and lustrous. And I take a jar home of this for my son, and he won't eat anything else. I'm like trying to, he's like, I want the no knee land honey. So he's all he about knows. because he feels when you eat something like that, you feel the difference. You feel elevated, happy, and nourished. So honey is a happy on that. food. It's a happy food. Yes. We've got right here, boom, in this studio, just behind the, the studio right here, there's bees filling up the wall. And in fact, this whole house smells like honey right now because the heat and there's so many bees in the house. You guys just saw it. Tell me what you just saw. So the bees are on the back window where I shower. So I see them every day. And suddenly they weren't there and we went out to the front and on the yopo tree, the bees had formed. So imagine a branch hanging. The bees had formed this triangle and we're like... So is it, you know, is it paper? Are they making a hive? It was a huge cone of bees, entirely made of bees, and they would trade spots as it rained or as they got hot. They had a whole system. They stayed there for three days, and then they went back to their hive at the back of the house. They went back in. They went back. I heard them all while I was in the back. You know what I think? So I listen to, if you guys know solfeggio music, you yes. know the 528 megahertz, yes. which is the frequency of love. I listen to this every day because, by the way, if you ever have anxiety or trouble meditating, just search YouTube for some solfeggio 528 megahertz music. Put that on and you will just be instantly calm because it's the frequency of universal love. Long story short, the bees make the exact same sound as this 528 megahertz. So when I listen to them, it is 528 megahertz, I'm almost sure, or one of the solfeggio sounds. So they're infusing that honey all the time with these with sounds of love and this vibration on top of all the enzymes and stuff. Fantastic. Honey is actually loaded in enzymes. That was good. Um, over the years, right, Sitara, you've been an actress in L.A., yes. and you have to look good, you have to be sharp, you have to be ready to play those roles, you've yep. got many lead roles. How important is it to take care of yourself? Oh, my gosh. it It is probably, well, this is all I have. This is, this is it. You know, I've got possessions and stuff. They come and go. This is my technology. This body is this amazing piece of technology, and it's all I have. So I really infuse my body with a lot of love. I come from love first. Um, you know, like the Masuro Emoto's water yes. is affected by our intentions. Well, I'm water. We're made out of water. So I took all words like, oh, you know, I'm fat or I want to lose weight or I hate this part of my body or my wrinkle. I took all those words out and I only feed myself loving thoughts. And then I use all of these health protocols. And then I just kind of remember that this body is doing so much for us on a moment to moment basis. And if you can infuse your body with love, you will want to make loving choices. Like I don't want to eat something that's going to hurt my body, like a fast food burger. It's going to hurt me. And I want to exercise because that'll infuse my body with energy. So it's easier to make choices that infuse you if you start to infuse your thoughts and words with love. Well you know? said. 
we we infused our thoughts and and uh, our evening last night with lots of love. Oh, so we do good. want to make do a shout out for our good friend Elijah. Elijah and the Band of Light. If you ever get a chance to oh. see them, follow Elijah Ray Music on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He is an absolute bro and a good friend for a decade. And you, last night, or actually, you know, I think yesterday afternoon, I texted him. I said, are you on the island? He said, yes. I said, are you playing tonight? He said, yes. I said, where are you playing? It was right down the street. Perfect. So it was just amazing. Totally miraculous. And because we have the energy, even though I've been flying for days, I've literally been in airplanes for two or three days to get here. Eat because of the way of life, the strategy of eating, the strategy of not eating, mm -hmm. fasting, and cleansing. Mm -hmm. we especially get, on the plane. Especially on don't planes. Don't eat that food. Don't eat plain food. Oh. And, and in fact, <laughs> really shouldn't eat on a plane because you're not, you're sitting. It's not the ideal place to digest food. But anyway, got here and normally in most people, it'd be, let's go to sleep, let's rest, whatever. We went out. <laughs> We went out and we, we had danced. a blast. We moved the energy of the body. It's on my story right now. David had his drumsticks. We were dancing. The heart was opening. Like that music was epic. It was I, epic. I thought I knew good music and then you took me to that thing. Yes. It was, so it was so nice. It was really fantastic. Okay. Another thing. Let's get keep going with our theme, what we wanted to focus on. By the way, click like, subscribe right here and join the page. I don't know how long I'll be on YouTube. Again, I've had my page deleted on numerous social media platforms for actually telling you the truth, which is um, you, you don't ever have some condition up here, whatever that is, you know, you know, those conditions, the ones that people are dying of without many layers of toxins and b b b b b parasites, parasites, parasites. See the parasite had taken over my brain and I couldn't think. No, I'm just kidding. But I like when David says maybe these parasites and worms are thinking for you if you're having kind of lower vibration negative thoughts. And so it's so powerful to get rid of them. Very powerful, very important. That's what we do. We're going to do our next cleanse September 20th. Mark your calendar. Again, click like, subscribe right down here and below. Okay, let's keep going. Another thing I'm going to be doing and focusing on this Monday with my inner circle, and it's something I really want everyone here to hear about. It's an area of research I've been deep in for six years, which is color pigments and their effect on health and the color of foods and the importance of colors in foods, like black foods. Look at that black avocado. Isn't that wild? Totally black. Mm -hmm. What about yellows and oranges, right? Anti-inflammatories in action. Yeah. And then what about... This, what, what do we got here? This is actually a white food, but I can't this get into it. It's not quite right. This is really yeah, white. no, he's yellow, white. White's like, let's say, you know, when a child is just born, what's their first food? Well, yeah. And it's white because that's the that's the blank slate. So when huh. we're rebuilding health, rebuilding digestion, we go for white because it's the easiest thing for the body to deal with. So I would crave rice when we're like just wanting simple food. Simple, and stuff. right? Exactly. Where you're, oh. let's say you got over a cold or something, and you're like, mm -hmm. I really don't want anything complex. I want like something simple. Yeah. It's usually going to be something like I just want white rice and seaweed, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Something like that. Yeah. And that, there's a logic to that. It has to do with the color pigments. And it has to do with the, the chemical structures of our food. So what I'm going to tell you here is one of my favorite theories. It's, it's something I've been exploring again for six years. And I think it's one of the most interesting discoveries of all time, which is when you think about some of these great pigments in nature, like resveratrol, it's a color. It's a color pigment. Really? Right? Yeah, that's found in purple like grapes. Like the grapey color. Uh -huh, that grapey right? color. Uh -huh. Underneath that grapey color, underneath that purple and grapes is a yellow. That yellow is resveratrol. Let's talk about mm -hmm. St. John's wort and, and other foods like capers and onions that are very high in a yellow pigment called quercetin. Mm -hmm. Quercetin is one of the most powerful anti-allergy, anti-autoimmune substances ever discovered. It's present in actually almost all raw foods that you eat that are plant-based. Wow. So if anything, you name it, you name lettuce, um, tomatoes, mm -hmm. berries, apples, all have quercetin. And quercetin is a yellow pigment, one of the most powerful epigenetic substances known. So it influences healthy expression of the genetic code. Now, the reason why I brought that up and I thought that's interesting is that where we're going in the future is this food right here. Look at all this great stuff. These are foods, superfoods. We've got cacao beans in here. Let's see. Here, look. There's our beans. Look at this. Oh, I know yeah. you can't see Sitara, but you'll see her again in a minute. Cacao, cacao beans. Cacao fresh bean. cacao beans. We've just been munching on beans. beans. This is here. Let's do them a little. Let's do them a little show here. See, this is a cacao bean. This is the food all chocolate is made of. Okay, and I'm going to bite into it. 
That's a chocolate Gosh. in there. There's a chocolate. Wow. Mm. Okay. So good. So we have our foods. We have our superfoods. We definitely have to have some herbs in our diet. No question about it. It doesn't have to be many, but you need to have some. So you have some broad spectrum of interesting minerals and pharmacologically active nutrients. But beyond that, mm. where we're going to be going in the future is concentrates of color pigments. Wow. One of the bars that we do with sacred chocolate, if you guys know my sacred chocolate, is the Longevity Bliss chocolate bar, which is my favorite oh, chocolate bar in the world. I think it's you, so you know, good. You know, Longevity Bliss. It's so good. Um, it's got a very high concentration of xanthohumol. Wow. So people figured out years ago that, like, okay, there's the cannabis plant. We know it's got that's got all kinds of interesting things in it, THC yeah. and those kinds of things, and then mm -hmm. CBD and those kinds of things. And then grapes, which are related to cannabis. No way. Yes, the grape plant is related to cannabis, and the grape plant has many interesting things as well. All its exotic phenols, the most famous being resveratrol. Mm -hmm. And then in between is a plant. What plant is that? It's hops. So somebody got smart and was like, we better start looking into hops and see if there's something inside a hops that's of interest. Uh -huh. and there's two humulenes, which are of interest, and they have great anti-aging effects, and they're mostly for age-related, um, mostly female kind of issues like hot flashes, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's two balancing. of those, hormone balancing. Mm -hmm. But then, then they're phytoestrogens. Um, but then there's one, xanthohumol, which is not a phytoestrogen. It's actually a, called a chalcon. It's a yellow pigment, xanthohumol, probably the most powerful epigenetic substance ever discovered. So we've been putting that into chocolate bars, the Longevity Bliss chocolate bar, for years. That has been, that what an um, incredible breakthrough. And again, it's not about... So much as like, okay, yeah, now you're going to live to 200. Well, we don't know. We hope we do. But it's how you feel moment to moment. A lot of times people, will, especially in our culture, they're going to reach for things that cause them to escape. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. They're going to reach for alcohol. Mm -hmm. They're going to reach for sugar, sugar, whatever. Cake, whatever. So, something to escape. These kinds of color pigments bring you into the moment. So they actually are kind of the opposite effect of what's normally happening which is bringing you more into the moment, bringing you more into your genetic expression and bringing you more to, into the true you. And that is another key piece of this is as you get healthier and you detox and cleanse and detox and cleanse, you'll go, you know, of course we all make mistakes, mm -hmm. but you know, remember when I broke my foot, I was with Sitar when I broke my foot. Mm -hmm. Hiking through the jungle. Hiking through the jungle. And that was a rough one because I couldn't walk for months and months and months um, all the attendant problems that come with that, gaining weight, losing confidence, you know, because you can't move. Mm -hmm. And then having to go all the way back, it took me a year at least to recover from that injury. Everybody's like, ha ha, you, you're up, you gained 20 pounds. And it's like, look, I couldn't move, I couldn't run, I couldn't walk for months, right? So you have to go through, you know, that's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. You're going to have things like that that are going to come, I don't know if it's going to be a broken foot, it could be anything, it could be a divorce, it could be mm -hmm. anything. There's so much learning, too, that comes from those things. You might just go on a different kind of learning journey, how to nurture yourself or slow down, right? So there's always lessons. There's always it's lessons, beautiful. and that that's how life is. So what I'm saying and what Satara's message is is you need to reset, right? You come back. It's like when I finally had the chance after all that stuff that happened with my foot, I was like, okay, now i got to reset. I did a 40-day cleanse with Woody Harrelson at his house. We had a wonderful time, and that, that reset me didn't quite get it all the way, actually. It didn't quite get all the way there. And then I came back the next year, mm. and then I did that long 50-day class, yeah. and that got it. And he, when I saw him this time around, I was like, it's like it's your head on a new body. Like, your body's That's just so fit and yeah, it's lean, and, like, you look longer. It's really cool. Nice. Yeah, those re that's a powerful reset to do. It's a reset, and, and uh, I have to give it up for Woody Harrelson, my good friend, because he was on my case. He's like, dude, we got to go to water. We got to go to water. We got to go to the water cleanser. Water so, only. Water only. No, I don't recommend that for newbies, but I've been, you know, him and I've been working on this for 20 years together. We always do cleanses together. And what happened was, is we figured out, okay, we got this window of 12 days in here before I had to leave and go on this retreat. He had to get ready for this new thing he was doing. He was doing an Archie Bunker thing or something. Mm -hmm. And, um, we got the 12 days in on water and that, mm -hmm. that got it. Finally got the toxicity out, got, you know, got the reset going. So we guide you through that. It's and by the way, we got 
Stephen Huntsman says sacred chocolate is the best ever. It, it really is. is. Thank ever. you, by the way. Go ahead. You had something to say. I was going to say what's fun to do if you're not ready to do like a, a deep cleanse like that is try the cleanse that I'm kind of on right now where you only eat whole foods and just try that. And it's fun and you get creative and you go like, okay, I guess I'm going to cut up this avocado and, you know, maybe put some coconut on top of it. It's a fun, playful cleanse. It requires you to get creative because you can't eat anything that's processed or out of a package. And you might start buying new things at farmer's markets and coming up with little concoctions. And I'm telling you, you will feel and look quite amazing. Whole foods like that papaya. That's right off right off the front yard right here, you guys. That's going to be a good one. We picked that yesterday. I yeah. like eating the seeds, too. Mm -hmm. I'll eat a couple spoonfuls of the seeds to get, like David said, those enzymes. The seeds. It's right. It's ready to go. Oh, yeah. It's ready to go. Now, over here, if you don't know what this is, you want to talk about this one? This is a sour saw. Oh my gosh. This one, guys, these are so good. It's sort of like, tastes like a sweet and sour candy. And it's really like milky inside and you can juice it or you could kind of eat the spongy insides. And what's cool is that when you start eating these things, you almost take on the consciousness of the plants a little, which is a very vibrant, living consciousness connected and grounded into the earth to the sun, to the light. So it's also another reason I love eating these fresh fruits and veggies because my consciousness gets fresh. That's epic. I Thank get fresh. Well said. That's really what yeah. happens too. You know, I got here, you, you know, when I got here the other day and I was, mm. you're in planes. I was in planes for days. I was traveling yeah. all over the, all over the world. And what happens is, is you forget, you forget when you come back to Hawaii, the vibration, because you're eating a lot of fresh food. You can get this actually anywhere in the world, but in Hawaii, it's easier because there's just so much here. And it's just so right. Here. Like there, there's the platter. Here it is. Boom. There's your deal. And it, I just, all of a sudden I started having feelings of abundance mm. out of nowhere, wow. feelings of like possibility. Yes. It was incredible. Feelings of inspiration. I got up at three this morning. Three in this morning. I fell asleep last night after we came back from the party. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, three in the morning, got up, and I've been going ever since and feeling good. Okay, so we've got a lot of questions. By the way, like, subscribe, click above or below, join the page. This is Satara Hewitt on Instagram. She's at Hi. Satara. Satara Hewitt. That's it. And I'm David Avocado Wolf. You can find me on Instagram, Telegram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Probably a whole bunch of more too, but we're, we are doing all platforms now because we never know, you know, the, the truth is not what the big chemical companies want. They want to keep pouring in their propaganda, yeah. which by the way, a lot of our opinions and positions about things is created by corporate propaganda. So that's something that happens when you do the cleansing, especially getting the p -p 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 parasites out. Bye-bye. You end up getting your consciousness back and you go, oh, wait, that was a program. Oh, wait a second. That was a program. And you're able to you can't regain your own sovereignty. Beautiful. I love when you say that word. That's such a beautiful goal is like get back to my sovereignty. It's so nice. And your own nobility, too. That's another very important concept. You are a noble organism. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we've got. Um, by the way, we got our new enzymes out. I'm going to go ahead and answer questions. I'll reach in here. We got that's our new longevity enzymes found at davidwolf.com. We'll put a link out here for you. We've got some links, and uh, I'm so happy to finally have these out. Let me just take a couple while we're while we're at it. Boom! There they are. They're tapioca capsules. They're better than veg capsules. First, my first enzyme product that I've developed in over 15 years. And so happy to have a new one out. There it is. Longevity enzymes. Boom! There you go. Boom, there it is. Mm -hmm. And one thing I do want to say about it, it's designed for eating with food and without food in between. Okay, let's get to people's questions. Okay, let's see. Um, comparable to beauty enzymes, better than beauty enzymes. Beauty enzymes was lost to the dark side, unfortunately. Let's see. Um, do you oh, good. Have we got your the own link up there. Blends? Yes, I do have my own mushroom blends on davidwolf.com. And they're all made in California by a friend, so it's it's like all local, and they're really there's we call them smoothie fodder. Um, as you may know, I'm the Nutribullet guy, so you know I always wanted things that were easy to throw into a blender. And when you know this is a type of thing you travel with, you have a couple of these with dinner or something, or in between, or right after a workout. But when you're doing like powders, like superfood powders mm -hmm. or super herb powders, you want something to just go sh sh shovel it in there. You don't want to open capsules into a blender. Right. And so we we innovated that years ago. And uh, and that, I still have those products. So anyway, they're on davidwolf.com. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, 
Carbon 60 and Carbon 70 is on that site as well. I love Carbon 60 oh, and Carbon I 70. Do. It's just one of my favorite things of all time. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I was in Mexico and I and I finished off my my last bottle, which was which was a Carbon 60 and Carbon 70 that I had you know worked on in my house for a year, mm -hmm. and that was the last one. I was like, oh my god, this is it from that whole mm -hmm. batch and that whole experience. I had some of that too. You know, I take it internally, but I also use it as a beauty oil. Mm -hmm. I find it's very detoxifying and moisturizing. It doesn't cause me to break out. Nice. So I eat some, and then I put some on my face before bed, and it's really nice for any kind of well, any wrinkles. We don't say the W. We don't say that word. No. And, Our but smile I will lines. say this: um, in Asia, that's mm -hmm. mostly how C60 is used. Really? It's used in cosmetics. And I felt so called to do it. I was like, it just wants to go on my skin nice. and make it glow. You do have great skin. I mean, Thank you. you know, I look at my skin, I'm like, whoa, I got like a line here and then this over here. But and David, all that. you know, I really didn't always. Um, 10 years ago, I had more lines and acne and my skin didn't have a glow. And I can remember working on a movie, a Hallmark movie, and this was actually just three years ago. And the makeup artist was saying, there's something missing. You don't glow. She was like, I don't know. She, told, you she that. told me that she's like, there's Crazy. a component missing. And that made me start to think, okay, I need to get the circulation going. I need to, I was worrying and fearful a lot, which is disconnecting you from your skin. You're like literally worrying so much that you're cutting the life force off from getting to all of you. So I started to reprogram my thoughts. And then you were talking about the hormone balancing, getting the hormones in balance has been the most beautifying and youthening thing I've done. Let's get into that. That's such a great subject. I do want to answer some questions, but let's talk about just general hormone health. Number one is hormone metabolites and toxic hormones environment mm. and xenoestrogens. And then, you know, the mm -hmm. foods made like soy is kind of the wrong kind of phytoestrogen. Mm -hmm. So we got a number of different problems going on, which is metabolic hormones that are like breakdown metabolites that don't yeah. completely get cleared by the liver. So they get stuck. Mm -hmm. Then we've got either the direct product of say soy burgers or something like that, or soy oil or something, um, which is a xenoestrogen, which affects about 40% of the population harmfully, mm -hmm. which is way, way too high mm -hmm. for a food that's just recommended for the population. And then on the, on the other side is just the, the whole thing about, okay, are we getting the, um, right types of raw materials to build healthy hormones. Oh. That's a big one too. Mm -hmm. So it depends on where you're at in all this. If you're, if you've been a vegan for a long time and your hormones are way down, which is what the case was with me, then ghee was actually something I was able to bring that up. Yeah. I've been a vegetarian for 30 years. I'm not going to go to eating meat. So mm -hmm. what am I going to do? So I ended up going to the Ayurvedic cure, which is ghee for mm -hmm. the cholesterol molecule, which is the base molecule of testosterone which is the base molecule of progesterone, which is the base molecule of DHEA, which is the base molecule of estradiol. Basically, the cholesterol molecule, if you can't form enough of it, you can have problems with low hormones. Or if you're taking too much of it, you've got too many metabolites, so your body goes, what are we going to do with all this? We can't get it all out. Mm -hmm. One of my best friends, Karen Grievous, recommends DIM always in I all our conversations. Tell us about that, DIM. I love the DIM. For me, the DIM helped a lot when I had been younger and uninformed and on birth control. So detoxing those old hormones and then having a baby and not quite balancing out properly after the DIM. Uh, the, the one thing I noticed was if I'm sort of puffy here in my face or my belly, the DIM strips that out within days. Wow. And it's, so it's, I feel like the estrogen kind of sits here and here. So that's a good way to I'll just look and go, okay, I need some DIM right now. Die in dolil methionine. Put that one out there. D I M, and it's one how of the. How do you know how to pronounce all this? It's stuff? one of those things that you know. I wrote books on this kind of stuff, so after a while, you start like knowing really what it is. Where does it come from? D I M comes from cruciferous vegetables. So if you can get more cruciferous vegetables into your diet, that's a really good way to have healthier hormones. Now, cleansing the liver out also means you've got to cleanse your body, and you've got to do some upstream cleansing. And one of the best ways to do that is get into a cleanse like we're going to do on September 20th. Again, join the page, click like, be a part of our group. Subscribe. Comment. Come hang with the inner Go circle Brazil. too if you want. That's so fun. And then once you once you start doing that upstream cleansing, which is the coffee enemas and get that liver to go boom, get it all out mm -hmm. when you're cleansing. It is incredible. And actually one of the times that I was doing a colonic, one of my first times, I think it was the very first time I did a colonic and my liver released a whole bunch of yellow bile 
I never wanted alcohol again. Wow. That was it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's profound. Changed, that was changed my whole life. Yeah. That After that, it was just like, a lot gone. of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do some. That was good. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, <laughs> look at that. We've got, we've got Gavin, some great comments. Yes. What do you do right after water fast is finished? You got to come off slowly. You got to come back the way you came in. That's a very good question. You got to be very careful about coming off a fast. Um, um, best and, hormones for a sorry. Do you want to talk more about the fast? Oh, uh, um, Cindy said, did cacao shaga teas essential oils for enemas? What do you think about doing? That? I think I like that. I mean, I, I'm the, probably one of the only people in the world who's done hot chocolate enemas day after day. Definitely coffee, coffee enemas, only. mocha enemas. Um, <gasps> hot chocolates with all kinds of teas in them, like chaga, reishi, nice. the whole lot. And uh, it's interesting doing it that way. It really is. Okay, so let's keep going. You want I to like the, Yeah, the best hormones for arousal and fertility. For me, it's been taking maca daily. Maca daily helped so much. I am like pretty horny. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how else to say it. No, I mean, I went from having... After you have a baby, sometimes it takes a while for that arousal to come back. A lot of women know that. And the maca, I mean, you take it for a few days and you're getting the blood circulating down there really nicely. And it balances out the hormones again, too, in other ways. Maca, I remember the first time we got maca in a 20-pound bag. I think it was 22 pounds, actually. And it was it was the first time that we started distributing it in North America. It was at the very beginning of the maca age. It was probably year 2000 yeah you know so it's even before people really knew about superfoods and and this is the best ever listen to this so we, we we had this 22 bag 22 pound bag of maca and we had to cut it down to one pound bags because we're like let's bring it to coast to uh, puerto rico mm. to ann wigmore's place down there in puerto rico and we'll turn them all on to maca down there so we had them in these one pound bags with a label that said maca mm -hmm. and so i get I, i'm about to board the plane and, and the guy's like you and grabs me and grabs my bag because i had it like carry them and he, oh, this is the craziest no thing. He opens the bag, and there's bags in plastic of maca. That looks suspicious. One very, very, very suspicious. He looks at me, smiles, closes the bag, zips it up, and sends me off. Never said anything. Whoa. I still haven't figured out. I mean, maybe he was in on some kind of drug deals that were going on yeah. and thought I was one of these drug runners. I don't know what it was, but You're he just let me runner. go. And uh, we did have a really good time with that maca down there in Puerto Rico, I do have to say. Okay, let's see. Um, yes, cover your ears, please. Um, let's see. Is the hormone whisper? Listen to him. Thank you. Um, I did write a great book, Longevity, the, the Longevity Now program. And in that book, I have a whole chapter on hormones where I summarize all of everything I've ever learned on hormones. It's very in-depth in five steps. So it's something you have to get in there and study. Definitely, you can, I can tell you for sure, that you can normalize your hormones and the imbalances. So if you're in that place of like, there's no hope for me, there's no help for me, it's, you know, this isn't going to work for me, I got news for you, you're wrong. You need to let that thought go, release that, throw that out, and, and just learn and keep learning and keep trying. We call it the trial and success method. Mm -hmm. You want to pick another question? I, someone was saying, what do you recommend for hair regrowth? Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, it depends for men or women. Um, usually when women are losing hair, it has to do with thyroid mm -hmm. and thyroid pressure. So definitely getting on iodine, making sure you're getting enough iodine, doing detoxing and cleansing. I do want to just digress for a second about the thyroid. Mm -hmm. The thyroid is the most negatively charged polarity in our body wow. right here. And so, the, and it's very vascularized. So it gets a lot of blood flow and it's thyroid means shield, thyros, shield. In every language, that gland is called the shield gland. Why is that? Well, it's the first gland to be affected and one of the first organs to be affected by toxicity in the environment. Now, this is why we have a thyroid epidemic. We have so much toxicity in our food, air, and water that the thyroid takes the pressure. And the medical industry just says, oh, we'll just bypass the whole thyroid and just give you thyroxin or Synthroid, yeah. and that's not really the way to approach it. That's like a Band-Aid. We've got to go backwards and go, oh, we're toxic. We've got to reverse our toxicity by cleansing and detox. That means sweating. That means movement. That means yoga. That means getting upside down. That means getting the, the activated charcoal in. We've got the best activated charcoal in the world, the coal biter. Um, you can always find my links, by the way. Click below. They're all down there, and please subscribe to the page. Anyway, when, you, when you're – Onto the coal biter or any activated charcoal, 
you it's not the only detoxification substance out there. Clays are great. Yeah. Zeolites are great. Fiber from our food is great. Soluble fiber from berries is great, but it's the most powerful. And we kind of, at this stage in our world history of what's going on, we need to go the most powerful detoxifiers because we never know what's gotten into us. And then that takes that pressure step by step by step off the thyroid. Then the iodine comes in and displaces out the toxic bromine, fluoride, and the toxic iodines too, because there's healthy iodine and there's radioactive iodine, mm -hmm. and there's definitely radioactive iodine in the environment. And it's called chelation by replacement. Give your body the right thing, and it will go, oh, let's get the wrong thing out of here. Nice. And iodine, by the way, is a really nice, just for women, a slimming and beautifying secret. The iodine keeps the fiber, it keeps the metabolism nourished. If I'm having maybe two or three droplets of iodine in my water every morning, I definitely feel more alert. I don't get cold, you know, the cold extremities, I don't get that, and I tend to be a little slimmer. Nice. And the iodine's really like I really good beauty. I'm secret. a big fan of iodine. It's one of the great beauty secrets. It really is. It'll keep you young and healthy and happy long. My good friend Dr. Patrick Flanagan, who's one of the most famous pyramid scientist, one of the most famous scientists of all time. He really one day he's savvy and he's like, here's the all the studies from 1920 to 1930 on iodine. You need to read these. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And it is it is fascinating, worth your investigation. Okay, let's see. You want to see. What else we want to answer here? Mm, what about radiation? Okay, yes. Oh, gee, you definitely want to take iodine if you're in the area of radiation. One of the things that is the fall, it's one of the major fallouts of radioactivity is radioactive iodine, as well as radioactive hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium. And if you look into deuterium and tritium, you'll find that they are aging. They're related to aging and same with radioactive iodine. So we've got to chelate by replacing. You've got to get the right kind of iodine in there so you don't absorb the toxic iodine. Or if you have absorbed it, your body can go, oh, we got the good one now. Let's get rid of the other one. Yeah. Chelation by replacement. Okay, now somebody said that was a good question there. What, which one was that? Um, can you reverse kidney failure? Well, I, I, you know, I've been dealing with kidney stuff, you know, for years because by the time somebody gets to me, just imagine, right? By the time... Because you know how the system is like, oh, a quack. Oh, you, this guy doesn't know anything. Oh, go, go to doctors. Meanwhile, doctors, hospitals, and pharmaceutical companies created and prescribed the opiate crisis. Mm -hmm. They created it and they prescribed it. So right there, if you're still trusting that system, you need to do a real evaluation on the whole situation of who you're trusting for your information, right? Because the whole – it's almost 100% reversal, Right. What's basically sold to us in the mainstream narrative has nothing to do with being healthy. It's actually exactly the opposite. They only profit if you're sick, unfortunately, and they're a very, very profitable corporation. So you have to take your best interest to heart because they unfortunately don't have your best interest at heart. I've seen it firsthand and in many other situations. Having dealt with so many people who are on the verge of dialysis or in serious kidney trouble, I would really recommend going to see an OMD, an oriental medical doctor, somebody who really specializes in kidney health. Health. But I will say this, the best thing I've ever found for kidneys over all these years is activated charcoal. Wow. And in fact, that's what's in when, when you go, when you look at um, a dialysis machine, yeah. the filtration medium is activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. I didn't know that. Hey, that's really good news. That's going to be helpful for people. There's someone also here asking about someone with one kidney. So that might be helpful. That's helpful. Yes. Okay. Let me just talk about activated charcoal for a second because Activated charcoal is essentially like another, it's like another filtration organism or, or organ is really what I want to say. Like, you know, it's like an extra liver. We need an extra liver in our world that we're living in right now with automobile exhaust. We're breathing that in every day. We don't even think about the toxicity of automobile exhaust. We've got to have an extra filtration medium. It's called interstitial dialysis. That's what activated charcoal is doing in our wow. intestines. And that's also what the C60 is able to do, but at a deeper level because the C60 and C70 are able to pass into the blood and get deeper into your body, whereas activated charcoal mostly does not pass into the blood. It just stays in the intestines, but acts as a filtration medium of the blood there. Cool. Um, from that position. I didn't know that. It's very interesting. It's actually Ooh. called interstitial dialysis, the effect of activated charcoal. And just as another thing, just because we got everybody on the on this uh, this um, show today, this is a really important piece of information. I just written a book on this and it will be out by the end of the year. And that is 
Activated charcoal in animal research is the number one longevity substance on average over the last 70 years in animal research. Wow. That's a really big discovery, and that's something you should know about. Now, I was always wondering when I'm reading this, I'm like, well, how come people don't know this? Walter Cronkite never told you. Dan Rather never told you. Don, Tom Brokaw never told you. CNN never told you. Because that stuff's all a distraction away from what's important, which is you, your health, and your family's health. Right there, if you turn on any of these things, whatever it is, Fox News, CNN, the whole thing is some kind of a world wrestling enterprise that's going on. Yeah, it's pantomime. It doesn't have anything to do with your health and your life and your happiness. Mm -hmm. You agree? I totally agree. But what's cool is now we have the age of the internet and people can kind of go and seek their own answers. You can become a seeker for your own health and empower yourself and figure out what works for you and research it. And you have people like David to go to. So this is a kind of exciting time in the world. It is. It we're is. waking up. I would the recommend lifted. follow her on Instagram. She's very entertaining and she's, fun. yeah, she's having a lot of fun, which is great. You know, whenever you're on social media, if you're on social media, have fun with it. That's what it's there for. If you and don't give them too much information. Um, that's why I like Telegram because Telegram is an encrypted service and I can say whatever I want there. They're not going to ban me. In fact, the last time I checked in with the guy who owns Telegram, not Instagram, Telegram, Telegram Messenger, he was on a water fast. Just think, oh, cool. think about these other mega billionaire tech guys. You think they're on water fast? I doubt it. All right. Let's see if we got any more interesting things here. Um, here I am, Rocky Like a Hurricane. I just, I got into the Scorpions lately just for fun. That album was so great. Bad Boys Running Wild, Rocky Like a Hurricane. It was the best ever. I also like the album Blackout. Okay, what else? Um, let's see. You see anything in here? Um, I like how they're I'm saying your scroll. telegram is awesome. Okay, let's go here. There I'm was fast as well. Colon is a mineral electrolyte testicle. Each segment is in arc reflex activates as well. Color spectrum project is what do you think? Okay, yeah. I, there, I do want to say this, that our intestines don't work the way we think they work. We've been sold our whole lives. This is an important point. We've been sold our whole lives that salt is bad for us, right? You've heard that over and over and over again your whole life. It's just like everything else. It's always the opposite of right. what the mainstream narrative Good is. Point. It's always the opposite, Good point. isn't it? Yes. It's, so now you'd obviously table salt and kiln dried salt and salt comes from Morton's Iodized Salt Factory in Chicago, right off the highway there, which is a crazy place. You ever drive through Chicago and you see that you're like, Great. you're driving by on a highway. It's raining. It's humid. They've got the bay doors open. There's mountains of salt in there. And you know how salt is? It attracts moisture. So you got this freeway, all this brake dust, you've got rubber tires, you've got exhaust, and it's being pulled with the moisture right to the salt. Whoa. It's crazy. Don't eat that stuff. Don't eat that stuff. Now, sea salt, like real sea salt from the Arctic or places where there's no plastic or Makai sea salt from the big island, mm. this island right here, where you go down 2,000 feet and they pull the water up from down there and then they desal it or they, they basically dry it in the sun so the salts come out. Yes. That's the right kind of salt, sea oh. salt. And that's what your intestines need to be, to have regularity. So important. Water and sea salt is the basis of all life. And I'm telling you, you get off this live and go make yourself a nice glass of pure water with lemon or lime and some sea salt. Drink that down. You will feel like so alive. It is like the elixir of life. It's the strangest thing. And then David also recommends before bed having some raw honey with sea salt on it. And I do that now every night. It's just so mineralizing and balancing and grounding. And it's really, it's also tasty. So Very tasty way to end the I day. I do the things that, that knocked me saying. out last night. Yeah, right? I, I, went, I was out after we came back from that great party. Okay, let's keep going. We've got so many interesting comments. Does Let's Satara just eat to... for her blood type or mineralize differently? Ah. You know, I, I do. I really do like the blood type thing. I'm uh, Pakistani and Welsh, and I do find that certain things work better for my blood type um, than, you know, if I had a different blood type. So it's what not the only type? component. I'm actually an O positive. Oh, interesting. Which is weird. I didn't okay. realize that I was. So. I do, but then the O recommends a lot of beef and things like that, and that just doesn't resonate with my system. So I, I think of it as a component for me, not for everyone, but you know, you've got your horoscopes and your preferences and all this stuff, and the blood type is another component that I look to, but it's not the only thing. Good one. Well said. 
right? It's like a factor you consider. Well said. That was good. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got folks in here from Maine. Thanks, everybody. We got people saying that we're amazing. That's nice. That's so nice, guys. Um, thanks for spending your time with us. White Mountain, New Hampshire. Yeah, thanks for spending the last hour yeah. with us. We're going to let you go here in a minute. Uh, Click like, subscribe down there. You'll find all the links. Um, become part of the page. Trying to get as much information out there as we can until the next round of censorship. You know, I don't know what these people are nuts, right? It's just so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And the, you, people are like, you know, who's into, you, you want to know who's into the money? Those people who are into censorship. So if you're going to say like somebody's into the money, you need to point that to them and go, you're into the money. Mm -hmm. And thank God that we're finally getting some bounce back and some pushback from all the censorship. It's really, thank God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Praise to God. Okay, acerola. Somebody just threw in there acerola. I, I grow acerola cherries, and and I love Suriname cherries. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of our faves. Um, let's see. This is a good one. This one comes up a lot. If we take digestive enzymes, will it inhibit pancreas function? It will help pancreas function. Cool. The pancreas has a very high demand of trace minerals. And in a world where we're demineralized, you know, we're, we all grew up on like French fries, beef, potato chips. We didn't have a broad spectrum of nutrients like this, right? See that broad spectrum of nutrients just right there. So we didn't eat this. We ate all kinds of other stuff. What ends up happening is we get demineralized and then we can't even produce the enzymes. Enzymes are extraordinarily complex and extraordinarily difficult to produce by your body. So as soon as your body goes, there's enzymes coming in, your body goes, oh, thank God, we can like repair mm -hmm. we can go back and rejuvenate and this is why i recommend enzymes when somebody's dealing with a catastrophic physical injury mm -hmm. or there's an energy crisis in the body due to another type of disease i'm not going to say what that grouping of diseases is it's similar to a zodiac sign of the same name yeah. hint hint use your imagination. um use your imagination on that one well in that case, your body's, it's an energy situation where bodies go, well, we got this and we got that. We got to deal with this. We only have enough energy to deal with one of those three things. Right. So we better deal with this crisis thing over here. As soon as you start putting enzymes into that body, all of a sudden your body goes, oh, we don't have to put up all this energy to create our own enzymes. Here they come already prepackaged for us. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I've felt over the years, 25 years of taking enzymes. That's the thing that I think is the most important thing about enzymes. It takes up, this is the phraseology here is. It takes a metabolic burden off of your body. Nice. Like an energy. It takes a lot of energy to produce enzymes. Right. As soon as you take that burden off, your body goes, thank you. Thank you. We have energy now. And that's why, you know, like even if I eat a meal, I'm going to take five, six, seven enzymes with that meal. You know, most people take one or two. Yeah. That's fine too. You take one or two. But I'm, I've been doing this 25 years and I'll find that there's no boom. There's no crash after the meal. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep going because I don't, I don't have time to do this. Right. And so many, especially women, most of my friends, I can say at some point or another is like, my stomach's so bloated. My stomach's bloated or I'm carrying extra weight here. The enzymes help take that bloating away. So it's sort of like a nice flat tummy thing. And when your stomach is not right, like we were saying, nothing is going right. So it's so nice to just nourish and target this area because the stomach is like the second brain, right? It's that, that was so good. What you said that, I mean, if your stomach is bloated, if you're bloated, you're whole, you're so distracted, it's not even funny. That's true. You're so distracted, it's not even funny. You're all over the place. You're like, oh my god, I got, I can't put more my pants. Like, or let's say you're distracted and you have to go to an audition, mm. or you're distracted and you've got to go. You know, you were in what was the soap opera you were in? Oh, The Young and the Restless. So you had to show up there on the set. You got to do the the deal. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. You can't. What, how do you prepare? No, for I mean that? six a.m. If you're going to set and you've got to be there for twelve to eighteen hours, this instrument needs to be functioning highly. And then you go home to your kid. This instrument needs to be a highly functioning machine. And before The Young and the Restless, I was on a series for six years, and I was one of the leads. My friend from Saskatoon is here. We filmed it there. Oh, cool! Called Little Mosque on the Prairie. And I mean, if you're doing that, any of you who have these endurance-based jobs where you just, you don't want to feel like crap all the time, you want to nourish this instrument. And it really, this is a key component. And this is your center of power, right? Yeah. This is where your power your comes from, your core. So this is so important to nourish and love on this. And my good friend, Woody Harrelson, you know, one of the reasons why we do those cleanses so much is because he's also in that kind of, you know, he's gotten to that point where he's doing three movies a year. Mm. 
And that's in as you know, the intensity of that is most people are not aware how hard that guy actually works. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he has to do is he has to take care of his body because if he does not, he cannot perform. That his success is very correlated to his health regime. I've got to tell you that. And he's happy for me, for you to know that mm -hmm. and really wants you to know that because he's like all of us and everybody in this whole industry, we are concerned about the corporate agenda of food, cheap food, fake food, food that has too much sugar in it or just all the synthetic sugar, chemicals. high fructose corn syrup, chemicals, all that stuff glyphosate. Mind. It's, MSG. It's crazy. Oh. Look, look at this. Look how much better this is right here. Look at that. Show them that avocado. There's this nice. Guy. Look at that avocado. Oh. We, eat that we gotta right eat this. Show. We gotta make some guac. Actually, block. our crew is at the farmers market right now, mm. picking us up They're more picking stuff. Up, us up more stuff. Yay. We're gonna make a nice meal tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the best ever. So we've been at this for about seventy minutes, everybody. Let's see if we can take some more questions. I'll, I'll scroll back down to the bottom. And see if somebody has something new. What enzymes do you recommend? What what okay, I'm gonna. I'm finally. We have an answer for you. Woo! This yes. has been 15 plus years since I had my last enzyme that I designed, and now I got a new one out. Just came out. The kid came out this month. Longevity enzymes available at davidwolf.com. The links are in the comments there, and I'm so happy to have these out finally. Tapioca capsules. So we're gone beyond veg capsules. By the way, the person that I designed this with is you know who's basically helping me with the packaging of the whole product so it's as eco as possible glass right metal lid the whole thing so it's as eco as it can be him and i've been best friends for 20 years and there's something about that isn't there mm -hmm. i mean that's one of the things in in the acting profession too yeah. that if you're working with people you know it's just better well, it's just better it's a vibe you're there to support each other and you have each other's best interests at heart yeah mm -hmm. and and he knows my standards right so it's like we can't have anything in this product that has any, there's no magnesium stearate, no flow agents, no nice. nothing. And, uh, and that's, that's my ethic. That's his ethic. And so together he was able to do the nuts and bolts job of getting us, for example, instead of veg caps, we got mm -hmm. tapioca caps. And it like can that. be overwhelming at the health food store. You go in there and there's like 10 different products. You don't know which one's good. So I like having someone that I trust like you. This was so good. good. Somebody said, do you have Shen herbs that you recommend to calm ourselves? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about Shen. There's three different Taoist, really four, maybe five different Taoist energies or treasures that we're trying to nourish ourselves with. Mm -hmm. It's almost like building up a, a gas tank of this stuff or a fuel reserve. And one of those is Jing, which is your primordial life force essence. And that comes from black foods. It comes from certain behaviors. Getting into cold water increases Jing. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons why the Russians live long is because they do that cold water thing in the winter. Mm -hmm. Another thing that increases Jing is the bee products mm -hmm. and especially the honey, royal jelly, bee pollen combination, that kind of stuff. I Again, love black sesame too mm -hmm. for that with honey. This. Let's get that Let's one out. Can you got it? Yeah. I mean, it's like this thing's a beast. Look, Look at this thing. Look at the combs in there. That's a black honey, right? So that's a Jing substance. And that energy is a very important energy for longevity and for just having enough endurance. It's an endurance energy. Then there's Qi. Qi is how do you mobilize your energy moment to moment? How do you, how's your immune system mobilized? That's a red energy, comes from red foods and is associated and linked to blood. Blood is another one. Mm -hmm. Blood is actually its own world and its own energy. So that would, it's another area of Taoism. But the key one is Shen. Mm -hmm. And by the way, when we get all of them together, Shen, Jing, Qi, blood, then we nourish will and we can execute mm -hmm. manifestation. Mm -hmm. That's the Taoist principle, right? The whole principle of the, of the remember the, the secret. Yeah. Right. So this kid's like, I want a bike. I want a bike. And then suddenly right. a bike's there or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. It's so silly, but it's true. You can't manifest things like that, but it's easier to manifest when you're nourishing by your lifestyle, by what you're eating, how you're breathing, by your exercise program, you're nourishing to bring in Jing and Shen and Chi. Now Shen is an energy that comes from wild foods. So somebody's asking about how do I increase my Shen? Wild foods, foods that are, basically in that super food category that are, you know, known for their aura. They're, you know, they're, for example, aloe vera. Mm -hmm. Aloe vera has great shen. It, you get on aloe vera, you get this kind of glow going on, right? That's aloe vera. That's shen. It's a glow. It's charisma. 
cacao, acai, all of that. Acai is another one. By the way, we should have acai on one of those trees down there. Oh, we gotta go look. Smart. First, yes. yeah, first ever. First today. ever. I'm excited about that. We gotta go look. Anyway, so another thing about that is the great Taoist herbs like reishi. Reishi's a shen tonic. Asparagus root. Asparagus root. Another super shen tonic. One of my favorites of all time. And then, of course, the great ones, you know, the top ones like shizandra. Mm -hmm. Finally started growing shizandra. I've tried to grow shizandra for years. Never was successful. I'm, I got three plants going right now. I'm like, please make it. And they're doing good. Mm -hmm. So nice. that's exciting. Anyway, so when you look into Taoism and the top herbs there, you're going to go, oh, okay, that's, you know, those top ones like Shizandra, Rishi, they nourish Shen. They have to do with aura and glow. I do want to mention also Tulsi in the Ayurvedic tradition. Mm -hmm. And then I do want to mention, since we brought up Jing, and I was just with Pure Black, my friend over there, Nodari, at Pure Black Shilajit. Mm. You do Shilajit? Yeah, I do Shilajit. I just had the best Shilajit ever. Pure mm. Black. I gotta try that one. You gotta try yeah, that one. Really I'm gonna actually put it on my website. That's so mineral dense, so nutrient dense. And it smells like I used to live in the Himalayas when I was younger, and it smells like the Himalayas. Wow. It's just, it's so dense with the nutrients that we don't get around us here in the first world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shilajit, something to look into, pure yeah. black. Anyway, my friend Nodari did a great job putting that product together, and uh, it's the best Shilajit on the market. And uh, well, probably next show we're going to do a whole thing. At some point, I'm going to do a whole thing on, on some other projects we're working on outside of the direct nutrition field. I do want to get into like colloidal silver, coated mm -hmm. silver. So yes. colloidal silver versus coated silver. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. You may have heard of some of that stuff before. We'll do a show on that. We're also going to do a show on gold. And I'm just waiting for my Ormus gold batch to be done. Mm -hmm. So we got that show coming up. And then we'll probably do a show. What, what kind of show? We'll probably do a yoga show. Fun. At some point, yeah, yeah, and that that watch for that one. We're going to get into some of the things that I learned from the great teachers that I've studied with all over the world mm -hmm. in the field of yoga. Absolutely mm -hmm. incredible teachings, very important and simple. Five minutes, ten minutes, mm -hmm. um, stuff I was doing while cleansing. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, and then we will do yes, a big show on ozone. And I do that with my inner circle all the time. If you're interested in my inner circle. Go to thebestdayever.com, all four of those words together, and check us out there. Click the link below, subscribe and share with your friends to see how much time we got. We've been on for an hour and 15 minutes. What Let's about see if advice we got... for ADHD? I feel like a lot of parents are... Well, okay, number one thing from as a nutritionist is you got to get the kids off the sugar and the excitotoxins, mm -hmm. right? So the sugar and excitotoxins, MSGs and excitotoxins. Look at every ingredient. You got to get back to this. Let's get come back here. Yeah. See this? Whole this is foods. fine for kids. This is not going to cause ADHD. Mm -mm. This is going to normalize kids' blood sugar so they can sit there and study and be creative mm -hmm. and imaginative and not be jumping out of their seats. So ADHD has to do a lot with excitotoxins and sugar and, of course, the chemical toxicity, which is causing an interesting – this is so fascinating – an interesting study was done years ago on juvenile delinquency, and the theory that was proposed in the study was that kids are behaving delinquently because the food's demineralized. Mm. And they found out that was not true. Oh, they found out it wasn't I true. It was. They what they found out is that what causes juvenile delinquency is food allergies. Wow! And the That's top three: mm -hmm. dairy, mm -hmm. wheat, sugar. Take those three out. Dairy, wheat, and sugar. Take those out, right? Get gluten-free, get dairy-free, get, gluten get sugar-free. Watch what it's happens. It's so doable. I have a little boy, and he doesn't eat gluten, dairy, or sugar. Now, if he's out at a friend's house and they give it to him, I'm not like crazy. He can eat it there. But at home, we mm -hmm. don't have any of those. He doesn't know any different. Parents always say, well, how do you get your kid to eat vegetables and gluten-free? And I'm like, because that's all that's on offer. So we eat it. We enjoy it. We make it taste good. And the other thing for ADHD that I wanted to add was more exercise and more time in nature. Well said. They're being stuck in desks at school all day, and that just doesn't work for all kids. So you, we as parents, or, or if we have the ADHD ourselves, we need to get out, move the body, get that energy out of us, get it not pent up, and then be in nature so it calms our being down a little. Okay, so I think we'll leave it at that. There's a question about the blood and um, what to do about blood pressure. First thing, just as a nutritionist, a very important consideration, get hydrated. I can't emphasize that enough, how important that is. High quality, pure water. I recommend finding spring water in your local area all around the world. I, I've hunted down springs 
from the Arctic Circle all the way to the tropics of Central America and everywhere in between. It's just incredible what's out there. But when people get into high blood pressure, what's happening is a lot of times we're eating when we're really thirsty. And that's one thing you really learn when you do a cleanse is that you, you're wanting to go for food and you go, no, I'm actually thirsty. And you will go for the for the water instead. It's a really good point. Very important point and, and something very key. Now, let's say it's a medical condition and you were like, okay, you know, who am I going to consult with? Let's consult with an oriental medical doctor on that particular condition because they're going to give you some good recommendations. Rishi, Hoshu, Wu, garlic, cayenne, things that can naturally help you out. They understand um, how the body works so well. I love that discipline. You, if All you have to do is just look at the the challenges that OMDs have had to go through in North America to become legalized and normalized in, in society. And you'll see that they've been battling the man. And uh, why is that? Why do, why would they want to be, why, why are we trying to stop them? Right. And why does big mother, you know, big brother, big father, whatever this government and what, you know, it's like, what, who are they to tell us what to do? Right. Let's, we can figure it out ourselves. We'll analyze all our choices and make the correct choices. But certain things are blocked for some reason. I think you know what that reason is. And therefore, we have to really support the freedoms we do have. And OMDs are able to practice in Canada, in the United States, in the UK, in um, Western Europe. And it makes a big difference to get the right care. Okay, so... Thanks so much, everybody. We, I'm, I'm going to do, I see Karen's asking a question about zappers and, and electronic medicine. I'll do a whole thing on that at the end of the year. We're doing a big project on that, but it's not ready yet. I'm signing off here with Satara. Thank you for I'm having David me. Wolf. David Avocado Wolf. If you'd like to have Satara back, let us know. Click like, join, subscribe. Longevity enzymes are out. Mm -hmm. And not a moment too soon. Thanks, everybody. We're Bye, gonna, everyone. We're going to save the lives. We'll time. keep it up on the on the page. Thanks mm -hmm. so much. Have the best day ever. Yeah.